Hello, today I'm here with a new first impression. Sounded like a TV personality or something. Um, today I'm testing the Hesina 2 palette. I think I mentioned them that I have bought this in my first impression the Blossom palette from Blush Tribe. So this is the Hesina 2 palette from Blush Tribe. A little story behind this palette. It was I don't know if it was my first Will I Buy It video, I said that I was not going to buy this because it's not my colors. But then I saw tutorial after tutorial and reviews about this and then I felt I need to have it. So I bought this and I haven't tried it before. So it comes with this, in this, I don't know what it's called, pocket. And the palette looks like this. And as you see, it's a green, blue, and purple palette. And that's not my jam. But all the reviews I've seen with it, I have think I think I thought that I might like this palette. So it looks like this. And I thinking about doing a green color, green color, a green makeup and the blossom palette is only matte shadows and this got both shimmer and mattes so it's the first time I will try the shimmer shadows from blush tribe but I've swatched some of the shadows and they are so creamy so I will do something green and I think I'm going to do like a halo eye so I think I'm going to take this this and this. So it's Erin, Mahaya and Jade. Because I think I'm starting to like green. Uh, before I hated green eyeshadows but now I think I like them. So I will start and I will use an eyeshadow primer. And I am very excited. So okay, the eyeshadow primer is on. And I finally washed all my brushes yesterday. Felt so good. It has been too long since I last did it, so yeah. So I think I will take Erin and put it in my crease. And I will have it in my whole crease. Okay, let's see. This is pretty green and it blends beautifully I really liked it with the blossom palettes the shadows were real easy to blend and these are two and it's easy to build up it's pigmented but I like to build it up I hate shadows that are too pigmented, especially when you try them for the first time and you have no idea how they are going to be. And then you get too much shadow at once. So I think I will leave it like this. It feels, it feels like I'm always overdoing my crease. I, I have hooded eyes, but my right eyes is more hooded than my left eye. Do you see the difference? This is me relaxed. This is like... Maybe I should do something? No, I'm not going to. So, this is Erin and it's a really good color. Now I will take Mahaya and I will put it on, yeah, I will do a halo eye. So I will do jade in the middle. And this is also green, but it's a little bit darker. And here it's some fallout. But I'm okay with it. I don't care about fallout that much, because I always do my base last. I like this color also. 
and they are going great together the crease color and this color they do blend well so I will take a smaller brush and take Erin no, Mahaya and in the corner of my eye and this is when I usually fuck it up with a halo eye when I can't stay when I leave too little space for the glitter eyeshadow shimmer but I think this is okay these colors is amazing to work with it's so easy they like I don't have to do anything to do it all by themselves and that I really like so now I have to change brush okay so now we will take Jade which is this one I have swatched this and this is a little bit more to the blue and not the green green as these two but I think they will work together and I will take a base shadow brush from e.l.f. no from Real Techniques and I don't want to spray this or anything because I want to see how this work what I have heard shouldn't need to spray it it picks up color good and yes this gets an A plus for me I think it could go in with the sticky base if or glitter glue or something if you really want it to be more poppin but this works completely fine on its own now I have it's a little bit sticky I think because I haven't set my eyeshadow primer but this is great and it's easy to blend it together with the green um, the other green okay I think this works best with just packing it on this jade color I think you can really they go in good together the matte shadows and this shimmer shadow and you can put the shimmer over the mattes but it doesn't take over it's just laying on top of it and that I really like I think it would have worked better with a sticky base but I don't think you need it because you, you can see it but if you want it really really bamming really I think you should use a glitter glue or something but I like it like this so it's there but it's not too much and now the lighting Sun, why are you doing this to me? Either you are here or you're not here. I have <laughs> pretty much fallout, but I have really packed them on. Especially this Jade shade. I packed it and packed it and packed it. So I'm okay with fallouts. That happens. It, I, I don't think eyeshadows are bad because there is fallout. Maybe it's because of me, I took <laughs> very, very much shadow on my brush and I didn't spray my brush and I just packed it on. So the fallout can be my fault, but I don't care about fallouts. I doesn't judge a shadow for fallout or not. So this is my eyelids. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's very toned down, or toned down, I have green eyelids, but it's not too much. I think this is 
it's green, it's nothing crazy. So I will take away all the fallouts and I will fix my base and then I will come back and I will put something underneath my eyes and I don't know if I will take maybe Aaron and then maybe Jade in my inner corners. I think I will do that so I will fix this, fix my face and then I will be back. I totally forgot to film when I finished the look. I was doing my base and then my under eyes and then when I put on mascara I'm like oops. So this is the finished look. I really like this. I really like this green I think. I'm starting to welcome green in my makeup life. I have never liked it before but now after like five all green looks I start to like it and the shadows in this palette is amazing. The, the matte shadows, super pigmented, super easy to work with, super easy to blend out and the shimmers are amazing. I used one shimmer but that shimmer was amazing. You don't need any setting spray, you don't need any sticky base or anything. It's just to slap it on and it's good. And now I see I don't have any lipstick on. Who am I? Who am I without a lipstick? But I don't know what kind of lipstick I want. Maybe this. No. Is it crazy to have a orange lipstick to this? No, I think that can be cool. I just have to put this on. Okay, <laughs> so back to the palette. I really like this. It's a super good palette. I have tried, was it three shades? I love those shades. So if you want to buy Blush Tribe, I can leave their website down in the description and I'm really looking forward to play with this. I think I will do a blue look and also a purple look. I really like this palette. I really like how this turned out. I like to work with the shadows and yeah, I love it. Um, Blush Tribe is an indie brand, I don't know if I said it. and. The woman behind it, she seems like a wonderful person. I have heard problems that have problems with their orders and stuff like that and she fix like everything and she really seems to care about people that love her brand and I like it. I love that. I think the beauty world needs that. So I'm really impressed <laughs> with the palette. I'm really impressed with Selma, the owner of the brand. And I are frankly really impressed and the uh, blush trap maybe will be one of my new favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows. I think it's amazing. The brand is cruelty free but it's not vegan. I don't know what colors are vegan and which are not that I don't know but the whole brand is cruelty free and I am super excited to play more with this. I will have a review up when I've tried it more, but my first impression is that the palette is really really good, I can really recommend it. Even if you don't like these kinds of colors, because I don't, but I love this palette, I love the greens. So I can really recommend this palette and I will leave all the links in the description for it and yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it, if you do please press like and if you didn't like it don't press like and if you are not subscribing to my channel I will recommend you to do that so you don't miss any of my videos and yeah I hope you liked this video and I will see you in the next one bye